Good to have you along on this Thursday. I'm meteorologist Matt Scott. We've been watching storms that have been off to the west for the last couple of days. They come close, but they have not really played much in our forecast. That said, this morning, Fairfield County, just the, the fringe of Litchfield County, got a taste of some of that rain. Wasn't nearly as potent as it was down to the south and west. They saw some big storms. Uh, you'll see as we take a look, look at the light show this morning, pushing through south of Jersey, even a, a couple of lightning bolts in uh, Manhattan. Manhattan. So really tough morning for them, but look at the trend it's going right down south. Kind of still missed us. Another rainmaker is off towards the west. There it is. Uh, that doesn't look like much, but this is going to fire up some big storms again for Pennsylvania and New York and Vermont later on this afternoon. By the time it gets here, it's going to be significantly quieter question is, are we going to get anything out of it at all? More clouds, more humidity, and dew point's been ticking upwards all morning and afternoon long. Southerly flow will do that. Here come the clouds. Here comes, look at that. That's going to be a troublesome day for the Albany Capital Region all the way down into Philly, Amish country, even Hagerstown, Maryland. That will watch trouble for them. But look at it as it kind of breaks up as it tries to move through Connecticut. What are we doing here? So we'll keep an eye out for an isolated storm tonight because if we do get any of them, they could be strong. Another batch of rain comes through tomorrow. That's part of the front that brings in drier and much cooler and more stable air for the weekend. Here's your storm threat. It is off to the west. It is not for Connecticut. And you see level three. That's tough for tomorrow. Tonight into tomorrow, level one risk. That's a marginal risk for storms. Not convinced it's going to be that big of a deal. And then the humidity, uh, which again, ticking upwards for today into tomorrow, sinks like a stone for the weekend. Loving that. Here's the call. Uh, looking at temperatures in the lower 70s, uh, becoming uh, upper 60s in the, the southeastern corner of the state. We'll hit the low 70s inland. Big departure from the last couple of days temperature wise. And a seven day forecast calling for numbers that are going to be uh, from 72 to all over the place. 89 for tomorrow. We drop down to 61, our lucky 61 as we break the heat and humidity. It's cooler for Saturday. 67 degrees is all we're going to see. A little better for Father's Day with 71, and then we'll get back to seasonal temperatures around 80 degrees for much of next week, the last few days of spring. That's a look at the forecast. Stay with Fox 61 and the news app for any trouble that may be brewing around here. You'll be the first to know if you have that app. Have a great day.